the largest of the human realms in the old world. The Empire is an alliance of independent states united under Emperor Karl Franz of Reichland. On its northern coast lies the Imperial Province of Nordland, known best for housing the Imperial Navy. In recent months, word has spread across the province and beyond that a mercantile venture is establishing a new coastal settlement in the remote northwestern regions of the province, and that Elector Count Theodoric Gausser has waived all provincial taxes for imperial citizens who decide to settle in this would-be hamlet of New York. Lured by the promise of great opportunity, many have begun to flock there from all walks of life. In more stable and prosperous times, the most enterprising of such bold individuals might flourish and prosper in such a place. But the gods alone know what will be their fate, for across the old world there are omens of dark times ahead. The Empire is still reeling from the dreaded Corvid Pox that has ravaged its populace these past few years. It is even said that pockets of the plague still grip isolated settlements throughout many of its provinces. While rumors of rat things in the sewers are thankfully just the insane ramblings of madmen, greater numbers of mutants have indeed been reported across the old world, and taverns are rife with whispers of chaos cults around every corner. It is perhaps little wonder that the witch hunters have been seen on the move so much as of late, purging towns of the ruinous taint that lurks amongst them before it can take hold and damn them all. At the same time, mobs have taken to the streets in the city-states, led by fiery demagogues dissatisfied with the ruling class and calling for change. From all directions, tales are told of greenskins gathering in larger and larger numbers. If nothing is done, it is surely only a matter of time before the foul menace grows into a full-fledged wah to once again threaten the race of man. Closer to home, Norskin raiders from across the Sea of Claws continue to ravage the Nordland coastline, posing a threat to even fortified towns, let alone a newly established hamlet. Nevertheless, Nordlanders tend to fight all the harder against these followers of the Dark Gods, to dispel talk of Norskin blood in their own lineage, and prove their unswerving loyalty to the Empire. Though far more rarely seen, the Wood Elves of Laurelin Forest claim a fair portion of the Count's territory as their own. While an uneasy truce has existed for ages, surely what other explanation could there be for strange happenings that are said to befall honest Imperial citizens near the edges of that realm? Many wonder why Gausser has not already sent in the state troops as a show of strength. But at least the Faithful are said to keep their forest clear of the beastmen and goblin tribes that harry Nordland settlements from the Forest of Shadows in the east of the province. So make no mistake, this is but the calm before the storm, when great armies will muster once again, and the world will meet heroes like never before. But do not lose faith, heirs of Sigma, for his empire has faced far worse and prevailed. So carry on, live your lives, and give no heed to the deranged doomsayers who cry out in the streets that the end times are upon us.